Hey guys, it's Lantech20 here. I'm uh, doing a review on Ice Cream Sandwich uh, 4.0.3 on the Asus Transformer TF, uh, TF101. Uh, so far it's been running uh, pretty smooth. I only had one little issue just not too long ago when I was trying to film this video earlier. Um, my apps disappeared as well as my widgets. I don't know what happened, but they came back all of a sudden. So that's the only thing I found so far, but everything else has been uh, running pretty, pretty smooth and excellent. Uh, no issues at all whatsoever. Uh, as you can see here, we go to, um, it's got swipe to remove notifications. Um, you got all your uh, little toggle switches here, uh, your settings. So far, hasn't had any issues. I went ahead and made the, uh, the lettering a little bit bigger so I can film this video and it could be a little bit more clearer for everybody to see. Uh, so I don't have to zoom in or do anything because my, my Galaxy S2 doesn't zoom. But as you can see here, it's off, uh, the Android version. Um, here is all the kernel version and the build. Um, this is a rooted version with super user. It also has, um, you know, the root access, uh, Clockword mod in it as well. Um, I haven't booted up into a uh, Clockword mod, so let's see here. Let's go to apps. There's the apps. Uh, so far, I mean, you know, I, I went ahead and did a titanium restore on this and had, had no issues whatsoever. It did really well, very stable. Um, Went on a market, checked some email. I've not done the web browser yet, so I don't know how that is as of now. But um, I'm sure it's, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, looks the same, you know, the regular web browser. For some reason, it's taking a second here to upload, and I do have fast internet, so there it goes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so far, you know, has been pretty stable. Um, I haven't done any uh, anything else on, um, you know, I haven't gone and done a you know a benchmark or anything like that uh you know has the uh where you can set different apps into one little icon uh, the camera on this has been much better i gotta admit to that um it's a little nasty i'm sorry guys um it takes pictures pretty good uh you know there's no flash um it's very dark in here i went ahead and, and, and you know made it dark so i can get a video here but but the uh cam the video camera on this has come out nice compared to before uh, it, it was disgusting. It was nasty. I didn't like it at all. So very impressed that they did work on the camera. Did a better app on there, which is awesome. Um, there is also, I think, some editing. Let's go back here and look. Um, there's some editing here that you can do. That's video. Yeah, you know. Okay. So I don't haven't really played with it, but here you got uh, store location, uh, the ratio aspect. Why is it not? There you go. Do it that size, four megapixel. Um, so you know, you, just a little bit of, uh, more stuff to it. The camera app's a lot better, that's for sure, hands down. Uh, it came with um, it came with a, quite a few apps actually. Um, you know, the ASUS apps it came with. Um, they're they backup. Um, I haven't re I didn't restore any of the ASUS stuff. It basically had that ready installed. I just restored some of the games for the kids because this is actually. The kids stay, not really mine. I do my Samsung and I play with that a lot more, uh, doing all the ROMs. But now with Ice Cream Sandwich, probably play with it more. Set CPU, I haven't even gone in here to even see if I'm allowed to do anything with the, um, no, obviously, because it's a stock kernel. So hopefully the developers here will get some nice uh, custom kernels so we can start overclocking this and playing with this a little bit better. Uh, I've been hearing that, you know, all the ROM developers on XDA are planning to already take this, uh, this uh, version and make it uh, make it their thing. So I can't wait. Hopefully by Saturday we start seeing some good stuff. But so far haven't had any issues. Um, I give hands down to the guy that came out with this, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Nago uh, on um, on XDA. I have his link on the bottom. It's flawless. It's been running very stable, very smooth. I've been ha having it since uh, 10 o'clock this morning. So you can click on the link. Um, you know, if you have any other ideas you want me to do or do any benchmark, I can. I have no problem doing so. I can make a video for that. But, yeah, so far it's been uh, really good. It's, you know, go back here to the settings. you got all this stuff here. It's got um, Asus customized settings. Uh, so screenshots, the J, uh, how you want to set your screenshot mode. I guess you do J, uh, better quality. Oh, look, there we go. Whoops. Change that. We'll do a better quality on ping. Um, the quick settings. Uh, the pointer, I guess, when you have a touchpad or a mouse, uh, memory savings. I don't have a, a keyboard dock, so I couldn't, you know, do that. But then you have developing options, and it takes you here to debugging all this other stuff for for developing. So I guess it's pretty neat. Oh, look, show CPU usage. 
Oh, look at that. So, I mean, this, a lot of this stuff is pretty cool. Um, definitely, I mean, like I said, whoa. That's weird. Ah. Okay, you guys see that? That was weird. <laughs> so, let's not mess with that. We'll mess with that later. So, But, yeah, so far, I really like it. It's been really stable, like I said. Um, I've had played with Ice Cream Sandwich on the, on the Nexus S with my son's phone and... You know, and, and it's been pretty good. All right, guys, thank you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.